For centuries, architectural historiography has cultivated direct correlations between raw materiality and the primitive, the ephemeral, and the trivial. Archives such as the Institute for Tropenbau Collection at the CCA and the Museum of Paraná Ethnographic Collection can help problematize these understandings. Both collections portray many unidentified constructions from the second half of the 20th century. While the IFT-like collection accumulates depictions of over 80 countries in Africa, Asia, Oceania, and Latin America, MUPA's photographic collection brings together registers of a diversity of indigenous peoples and environments within the Brazilian territory. During my survey, I selected a set of non-fossil fuel-based case studies built with soil and vegetable fibers in more and less urbanized contexts throughout the Global South. Also investigated the contemporary built environment in the same geographies by navigating online cartographic platforms. Both 20th century collections depict techniques and materials that are recurrently present and even spread in the 21st century world, testifying to the contemporaneity of such practices. The use of unenduring matter in durable constructions may seem paradoxical or inadequate. However, the continuity in these building practices over centuries relativizes their understanding as ephemeral. Their longevity overcomes expectation of a single exemplary. They rely on the social dynamics of building and sustaining land, environmental and cultural bonds. In many cultures, every reconstruction is a renovation of the collective agreements over preserving knowledge and traditions for the future generations. Furthermore, some structures even outlive their original specified use, allowing other humans and non-humans to interact with their life cycles. Due to its cyclic nature, raw material-based architectures demand continuous maintenance routines. Although they may give the impression that the first construction is trivial or effortless, not only effort is needed.
planning, collective social mobilization, a large set of skills and knowledge from builders and collectors are complemented with a vast infrastructural network of trails for transportation, advanced outposts for expeditions and trade points. Non-fossil fuel building practices never cease to exist, endure, and evolve. Raw material techniques and technologies constitute a preeminent source of knowledge, especially in response to our current environmental crisis. Although historical archives may work as efficient tools for advocating for non-dominant materialities and narratives, they also carry many colonial vices, since they have often been registered by European settlers. It takes time and effort to contextualize experiences of othering, stereotyping, and fetishizing. After centuries of historiographic rejection and suppression, knowledge outside the canon has managed to survive and integrate collaborative, radical, and critical cataloging initiatives. Architectures that leave light steps on earth, as Ailton Krenak mentioned, raise awareness regarding inventiveness, resilience, and rebelliousness. They foster not only revisiting the past, but also acknowledging the present and considering alternatives for the future. My name is Marina Oba. I speak from Curitiba, Brazil, an indigenous territory of the Kaingang and Guarani peoples. I'm one of the 2021 virtual fellows at the CCA. Thank you.